Okay, today I'm going to show how to change the oil on a 2015 Jeep Wrangler JK with the 3.6 liter V6 engine. And down here I have what we need for today, which is six quarts of 5W20 motor oil. I'm using the AMS oil full synthetic, the Signature Series 5W20. It's a one year, 25,000 mile oil. Here is the uh, cartridge filter. I ordered this 3AMS oil also. It's a, a Wix brand filter. It's going to be real nice. You'll see that we changed the oil from the top of the engine so you don't have to lay underneath and spill a bunch of oil on yourself. Um, for the drain plug, it's a 13 millimeter uh, nut on the drain plug. Okay, so now to get access to the filter on the top, we have to remove the plastic cover that's over the engine. Uh, it's hinged back here and pops up like this. It's detached here and here, and then there's hinges in the back that it pulls off. When you put the cover back on, you want to make sure that you find the the two sections that fit in there and that you don't push on that with the, the foam. The, uh, the oil filter is actually right underneath here. This is what the 24 millimeter socket was for. Um, we'll, we'll remove that in a minute. First I'm going to drain the oil out of the bottom. Okay, underneath here we have a 13 millimeter um, drain plug that I'm just going to get it loosened up there. I've got a drain pan here ready to catch the oil. Shoots out there out of there pretty good so gotta be ready for it. To get that out. Here we go. Well that's draining. I'll go back up top and we'll get the oil filter out. Now you'll see when we get this off uh, when you buy your oil filter you want to make sure that the replacement o-ring that seals the top uh, back to the engine is included in there we'll swap that out in a minute but this is where the 24 millimeter socket goes again this is very nice that jeep chrysler put this up on top so you don't have to spill a bunch of oil on yourself underneath anymore so we'll get this guy off my rag nearby so I don't make a mess on my alternator. There you go. There's the filter right there. Pay attention to what direction it came out. Okay, so this snaps in there a little bit. And then uh, here's the o-ring right here that you want to replace with every oil change. At least I do. Uh, I'll get that off and then get the new one put on there. Okay, with the o-ring replaced uh, i'm gonna go ahead and place the new filter on um i think it's a good idea any surfaces that are mating surfaces i just get a little oil on there before i slip it on pop that on there's a little o-ring right here that seals down inside the engine good to have a little bit of oil on that guy right there and then the o-ring on top when you're threading this back in you want that to kind of roll in there smooth so I like to make sure there's a little bit of oil on that also and then I, I uh, double check all these threads to make sure there's nothing in the threads and that'll thread in nice and easy back down in the hole Okay, and then we're gonna snug that back up. It's going in nice and smooth because I lubed that. And then uh, take it down so that O-ring is all the way in and it seats a little bit. And that's a poly top, so uh, there you go. Okay, back up underneath the Jeep now. Uh, she's done draining down. Let's make sure that's nice and cleaned off. I took the oil drain plug, made sure the tip of that was clean and the threads are all nice and clean. back in there I'll go ahead and snug that up the oil fill is on the left side of the engine right here and it uh, lists off what what oil you're supposed to use 520 that's what we have so I've got myself a funnel here and uh, 
we'll fill that up. I'm going to invest in a much better funnel for, for this next time. But uh, I always keep everything wiped off and nice clean with a rag. I don't want to introduce any grit into the engine. Okay, now that we have all six quarts back in the engine, I'll put the key in, and then uh, I'll pump the gas pedal three times, and then I'll turn it off, and that should reset the oil change. Okay, after that, um, you wanna check, check your oil level one more time. I started the engine and shut it off, and uh, I'll check that one last final time before putting the cover back on. I just want to say that I'm very pleased with how easy Jeep has made it to change the oil here. It's very clean, it's very simple. Um, and just with that 13 millimeter and 24 millimeter socket, you're able to do this. If I wasn't videoing, I think I could get this done in about five minutes. It's that fast and that easy. So I uh, hope this helped you guys out. Please leave comments below. Thank you.